If you need some reassurance as a plant parent for your aloe vera, stick around and I'll give just that to you. So first things first, this, these heifers grow fast. So if you're keeping that tray rolling, good for you. Choo choo. So this started out with three. Now it has eight leaves in my bank account, girl. Okay, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> okay. Second thing is that these leaves are kind of going to get floppier. As long as they got solid bounce back and they ain't saggy as hell, then you're doing good job. They may be slightly discolored, but don't, that ain't nothing on you. That's just the name of the game in nature. Another thing, I think this is number four, I don't know, is that you want to make sure the soil is like three-fourths of the way dry or almost completely dry in that hole. Initially, it looks dry, but it, the pot kind of felt heavy, so just double check. Stick that hole if you can. This bitch is kind of tight. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> but I stuck it two knuckles deep, um, and it was still kind of wet in there, so I just, just get a gauge of your plant. Another thing is that when the plant when the leaves get older they're gonna start going kind of angular but that's just the name of the game because you see they're pushing out new growth so that's just gonna eventually happen if you don't like the look you can go snippity dip that bitch right here but i'm not gonna do it because i kind of like letting nature progress you can do it you can use it for sunburns you use it for kitchen burns it's kind of winter so you don't need to worry about sunburns but anyways always keep that hoe in a terracotta pot look at that thumbs up that's good you need to do that it's better to be dry than wet with aloe veras but yeah